Lulu. Um, yeah, I did this page yesterday, and I left it there because a I ran out of time, and b we have J Pestered John next. I love J Pestered John personally because it is awesome. I don't know. Uh, we find out more about Beck. That's a good thing. Okay, J Pestered John. Also, music awesome. I will take it sweet. I'll say more about Prospect. And in hindsight, watching that again, it's actually pretty kind of sad for John and Jade. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's a repeat. Hey, okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there's something else down there too. Oh, it's the rest of that conversation. Yay! <laughs> Gnostic GG began pestering ectobiologist EB at 13.25. Oh wait, apparently both have been done. Oh, that's right, of course, the other part was done by John. Both were done by John, but ugh, never mind. That was the one that was done by John when he woke up. Don't mind me, I'm rambling to myself. <laughs> John, did you get my package? Oh, hey. No, not yet. Done. Are you sure? It was in a green box. Oh, yes, but it's in my dad's car and he's still out at the store. He should be back soon. Oh, great. 
what are you up to today? I'm up to my neck in this burb stuff. Titi's making a raw mess in my house. <laughs> Lol. What's burb? Oh, it is this game. It's okay, I guess. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was what? And there was a loud noise outside my house. It sounded like an explosion. Wow, really? I will go outside and look. Oh man, alright, but be careful, okay? I will. <laughs> Gardenostic GD sees pestering ectobiologist EB. Gardenostic GD began pestering ectobiologist EB. I'm back! Oh, hi. I went to investigate the explosion I heard. Was it by any chance a meteor? Yes! How did you know? Oh man, it's kind of a long story. Anyway, are you okay? Did it blow up your yard or start a fire or anything? No, I am fine. It landed a pretty good ways away, a pretty good ways from my house, and I went to look at it. And it's pretty big, but Beck doesn't want me to go near it, so I came home. He seems to think it's dangerous. Well, gosh, he's probably right. Anyway, what have you been up to, John? Oh, did you get my package yet? Uh, yeah, I was trying to get it, but Rose dropped my car into a weird spooky bombless pit and the package was in the car and I'm really sorry about that. Oh no! Wow, okay, I guess I should start at the beginning. See, a meteor blew up my neighbourhood. Oh, that's terrible, John! I'm so sorry! Oh, but I'm okay, and my house is too, sort of. That game I was telling you about, Spurb, while I was playing with Rose, sort of transported me somewhere at the last minute. But now I'm trapped here and it's weird and dark and I can't find my dad and I just lost the car and my copy of the game in the pit and I think I have to save the world from the apocalypse. <gasps> well, it sounds really crazy and kind of scary but it also sounds kind of exciting. I don't know John, maybe this is your destiny. If anyone can save the world I think it is probably you. Well, you think so? Yes. Well, okay, but it's not even that simple. I was about to connect to Rose to help transport her and save her from meteors and fire and stuff, but she lost battery power and a lost game disc. So I think that I have to get TG to use his copy to save her, but that jackass won't shut up and stop rapping and stuff. <laughs> He's so silly. Yeah, anyway, I should talk to him about it, so BRB. Wow. <laughs> Gnostic GG began pestering ectobiologist EB. Hey! Whoa, there you are. How is your adventure going, John? It's okay, I am making some progress, and Rose finally connected again, so she is helping me now. Oh, that's good! Oh, but, like, I don't think I'm actually saving the world here. I don't know what I'm really accomplishing, but I guess it's not that. Mm, well, I think whatever it is must be pretty important. Don't lose hope, John. I think it will all turn out for the best if you stay positive. Just keep listening to your grandmother's advice. Yeah, you're probably right. But um, I don't think I mentioned my nana to you, did I? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Didn't you? Mm, well, I don't know. Maybe you talked to Rose or Dave about it or something. Yeah, maybe that was it. They're really weird when they, they talk about you. Like... They're always trying to convince me you have some spooky powers, but I'm always like, no, she seems like a pretty regular girl to me. <laughs> but then when I think back, maybe there are times when it seems like you know some things. Like, maybe you know more about a thing than you were telling me? No, I don't know. Oh, well, John, I want to explain lots of things to you. Some things that I know. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? Oh, John, I forgot I was messaging you about that menu that fell near my house. Oh yeah, whatever happened with that? Oh boy, well, it turns out I was confused about it. Really confused. See, I guess I fell asleep for a while and lost track of time. That happens. Yeah, I know, tell me about it. Maybe you should, like, wear an alarm clock or something? So, what was the deal with me, or...? Well, it's hard to explain, but I know what it is now. And now I know everything's going to be okay. So, what is it? Or is this just another thing you're waiting to tell me? Oh gosh, Don, I really want to tell you all this stuff. But I can't yet. I really think you need to wake up first. Huh? Well, okay, not literally. Well, okay, maybe kind of literally? Ah! Something so confusing! 
Lol. <laughs> anyway, time for you to go, John. I think you have some company. Hearts. Jade, update colourful reminders. You take a moment to gather your thoughts after your dream. Whoa. While you are asleep, you can't get very it can get very confusing figuring out what is really happening and what isn't. Especially during the eclipse when you are exposed to to many visions of the past, present and future through a variety of cloud mirages. It is only after you wake up that you are able to start making sense of it all, and your reminders help you to do this. But on reflection, there wasn't much in the dream about the future. You were quite surprised to see your dog in your dream, though. It was the first time the crafty guardian has ever appeared in a dream. You've learned that today is his birthday, just like it is for your other best friend. You have always wondered about this, and never had the chance to throw him a party and bake him a cake. Now you can! But if you do, it seems that you will need a lot of candles. <laughs> Beck was like, you know, his birthday is the beginning of the universe, but hey, who cares? <laughs> That's a lot of candles. Beck sleeping near Grandpa. Beck has never allowed you to enter the Mystic Ruins for reasons you never understood. You always assumed it was on account of your protection, but now your dream has strongly suggested to you that is where you need to go now. Since your dream bot is secured in its chamber and does not need to be looked after, Beck is taking a nap in the grand foyer as he usually does. Perhaps he could take advantage of this and sneak out of the house another way. Jade, grab your harpoon gun. Rifle kind, a strife specimens. Oh yes, of course. One of your reminders reminds you that you still have a package to deliver too. This way you can kill two birds with one harpoon gun. <laughs> Overkill much. Jade, use harpoon to zip line into the great outdoors. Pachoo! <laughs> Rose finished building. Yay! <laughs> wow, that's a lot to scroll through. <laughs> Look at that. Architectural perfection. Dave, mine a loss of cow. Why would anyone mine a loss of that thing? It's an abomination. <laughs> I love how the crows are just like chilling out around him. See you, little dude. If you had any more apple juice, you would pour some out for your homie. You'll have to remember to double check your closet for more juice. Dave, go get a goddamn new sword. Nah, I've played going. Perhaps you will, but if you do, it looks like you'll have to break it first. Perfectly good strife specimens down the toilet. Thanks, bro. Dave, capture log and beta. You try to grab the beta, six, but you forgot your cell decks is completely packed. You wonder why you jammed all this useless crap in there in the first place. Maybe you assumed you would weaponize it all during one of your customary hash rap battles with your bro, but in retrospect that probably just would have been a huge chore and would have made the battle drag on forever. It's like, what are you made of, time? Dave, eject your modus and set it to Scrabble values. <laughs> um, if it drops out, it's because I had to stop it because I ran out of time. <laughs> you dump all this crap all over the roof. You then set your modus to the Scrabble hash function for some reason. This function always makes it a little less intuitive to calculate hash values for items and therefore more cumbersome to interact with. But you guess that's kind of a moot point now that your bro flew off fuck knows where. His mysterious ways transcend irony once again. Dave, get beta. And I'm going to stop it here. Bye.